Your gut is home to trillions of bacteria, some good and some bad. The good bacteria in your gut help to keep you healthy by digesting food, absorbing nutrients, and fighting off harmful bacteria. Prebiotics are a type of fiber that feeds the good bacteria in your gut. Eating probiotic-rich foods can help to improve your gut health and overall health. Prebiotics are a type of non-digestible fiber that feeds the good bacteria in your gut. These bacteria are essential for digestive health, immune function, and overall well-being. There are many different types of prebiotics, but some of the most common include the following. Inulin, fructolicosaccharides, galacto-oligosaccharides, and resistant starch. Prebiotics can be found in a variety of foods, including some of the following. Fruits, vegetables, whole grains, legumes, nuts, and seeds. So if you want to make your gut bacteria happy, eat lots of food with prebiotics. The question is, what kind of food contains prebiotics? Well, that's why you're here. Don't worry, I've got this covered for you. So, let me show you the top 10 foods you can start eating today to improve prebiotic activities in your gut. Let's go! Chicory root is part of the dandelion family. It's a flowering plant that's popular for its coffee-like flavor. About 68% of chicory root fiber is a good source of inulin, a type of prebiotic fiber. Inulin is a soluble fiber that's not digested by the body. Instead, it travels to the intestine where it's fermented by the good bacteria. This fermentation process produces short-chain fatty acids which have a number of health benefits, including improving digestion, reducing inflammation, and boosting the immune system. Insulin in chicory roots may help tackle constipation, improve indigestion, and even help prevent diabetes. Dandelion greens are another good source of inulin. They're also a good source of vitamins A, C, and K, as well as minerals such as iron, calcium, and potassium. Dandelion greens can be eaten raw, cooked, or juiced. Each cup of dandelion fiber can contain up to 1.92 grams of fiber, which comes from inulin. As a flowering plant, the leaves can be cooked or consumed raw, and they are a very good source of fiber. So just how helpful are they to us? Well, the inulin fiber that they contain are great for reducing constipation, boosting your immune system, and even helping to increase your good gut bacteria. And that's not all. They're also known for their anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, and anti-cancer effects. Jerusalem artichokes are a good source of inulin and other prebiotic fibers. They have a slightly sweet, nutty flavor and can be eaten cooked or raw. Jerusalem artichokes are also a good source of potassium, vitamin C, and folate. This plant is a part of the sunflower family, and it's sometimes called sunroot, sunchoke, or earth apple. I believe all these different variations of its name are derived from the fact that the vegetable has a flower-like appearance. Interestingly, this magical plant holds about 2 grams of dietary fiber per 100 grams. Amongst many other things, Jerusalem artichoke can be introduced into your diet, and like other good sources of inulin, it can strengthen your immune system, lower your cholesterol, and even prevent certain metabolic disorders. And because it's also rich in vitamin B1 or thiamine, it can be a good defense against fatigue and abnormal muscle functions. Garlic is a good source of allicin, a compound that has been shown to have a number of health benefits, including improving gut health. Garlic can be eaten raw, cooked, or in supplement form. Due to the fact that garlic has antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and even lipid-lowering properties, it's largely considered a very healthy and helpful herb to many. With garlic, you can significantly reduce the risk of cardiovascular diseases and lower blood glucose levels. Not just that, garlic also has what's known as anti-tumor effects, and it can as well as protect against the effects of asthma. All these facts are adequately backed up by research, by the way. Onions are another good source of inulin, and they're sometimes seen as the second cousins of garlic. They're a good source of fiber, vitamin C and K, and quercetin, an antioxidant that has been shown to have anti-inflammatory and cancer-fighting properties. Because they're tasty vegetables, onions can be eaten raw, cooked, or ingested in supplement form. At this point, I must also point out that onions are also rich in fructolicosaccharides. <laughs> That's a mouthful. Or FOS for short. Now, the beautiful thing about FOS is the fact that they strengthen your gut flora. They help you break down the stubborn fat in your system, and they ultimately boost your immune system by shooting up nitric acid production in cells. Leeks are also a member of the onion and garlic family, and as such, they offer similar health benefits. They're a good source of fiber, vitamin C and K, and quercetin. 
Eggs can be eaten raw, cooked, or in soup. One thing that stands out though is the fact that one leak contains as much as 42 mcg of vitamin K, and this is according to the Food and Drug Administration. Asparagus is a good source of fiber, vitamins A, C, and K, and folate. Asparagus can be eaten raw, cooked, or in soup. Again, this mighty nutritious vegetable is rich in inulin, which is very good for your gut health. Some of the benefits of asparagus include antioxidant and anti-inflammatory benefits as well as prevention of certain cancers. Did you ever think that the bananas that you enjoy eating might just be a little bit more than just a delicious fruit? Unripe bananas are a good source of resistant starch, a type of prebiotic fiber. Resistant starch is not digested by the body and it travels to the intestines where it's fermented by the good bacteria. This fermentation process produces short-chain fatty acids which have a number of health benefits including improving digestion, reducing inflammation, and boosting the immune system. And check this out. Did you know that one medium-sized banana, let's say about 8 inches long, contains only 105 calories and packs approximately 3 grams of fiber and about 422 milligrams of potassium? So one banana can actually do a whole lot for your body. Oats are a good source of soluble fiber, including beta-glocans, a type of prebiotic fiber. Beta-glocans have been shown to improve gut health by increasing the number of good bacteria in the gut and reducing the number of bad bacteria. In addition, it also lowers LDL cholesterol, which is the bad kind, improves blood sugar control, and reduces the risk of cancer. Oats can be eaten cooked, in oatmeal, or in granola. Yogurt is a good source of probiotics and live bacteria that are good for your gut. Probiotics help to keep the good bacteria in your gut healthy and can help to improve digestion, reduce inflammation, and boost the immune system. Yogurt can be eaten plain, with fruit, or in a smoothie. Here are some additional tips for getting more prebiotics into your diet. Eat plenty of fruits and vegetables. Fruits and veggies are a good source of prebiotic fiber. Choose whole grains over refined grains. Whole grains are a good source of fiber, including beta-glucans. Add prebiotic supplements to your diet. Prebiotic supplements are a convenient way to get more prebiotics in your diet. As a note of caution though, please take note that you will need to talk to your doctor before taking any supplements. By eating a variety of prebiotic rich foods, you can improve your gut health and overall health. So next time you're at the grocery store, be sure to pick up some of these healthy foods. However, we know that cooking has a way of altering or sometimes damaging the fiber content of these foods, so it will be prudent to consume them raw sometimes instead of cooking. This will help you get the most health benefit from these foods. If you found this information in this video educational and fascinating, then I've done my job. My goal on this channel is to bring you highly educational health information with a little bit of an entertaining presentation of the facts so that you can enjoy learning. And if you like this video, then you will like other videos just like this one on our channel. Follow the prompt on your screen right now to watch the next video titled Top 10 Bad Food for Your Gut. You'll learn the top 10 evil and vile foods to stay away from if you want to keep your gut healthy and happy. And while you're doing that, please remember to subscribe to the channel if you're new here and give all my videos a thumbs up to encourage me to make some more interesting videos like this. And as always, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.